Today I'm going to show you an easy way to georeference your project if you're starting from a CAD file. So this is a little roadway job in Arizona and I imported the CAD file and the first thing I notice is that I've got these north and east coordinates showing down here in the bottom gray bar. AgTech always puts your coordinates down there. You may notice if you start from a PDF the bottom corner is just at 0, 0. But of course, these are in the millions, so that it looks like these correspond to where this project is in Arizona. So I can tell AgTech to use that information so that I'm able to send this project out to Google Earth. To do that, I go up to the Utility menu, and I pick Transform Job, and then I pick the bottom option, Map Projection Settings here pops open a box and it asks me to fill in the state plane coordinate zone for this job. Now Arizona has three different zones, east, central, and west. So to figure out which one this pro project is in, I can do a quick Google search or I've loaded a tool into my Google Earth um, that's, that draws in each of those zones. So I just did a search on the county that the project is in, so I can click on that and see, okay, I'm in Arizona Central Zone. So I go back to AgTech and I pick Arizona Central. Now, if you want a copy of this map, just give anyone at AgTech an email, shoot anyone at AgTech an email, and we can send you a copy of the Google Earth map as well. We'll then fill in that EPSG code and the zone code for you, and you just hit set. So now I've got my benchmarks put into my job, so I'm ready to hop over to plan view to export this project. So I just want to check and make sure I've got my cut fill map set up how I want it. I go up to file export and I choose KMZ export to get that into Google Earth. I tell this program where I want to save it. I can replace that one. And then I just go through these checkboxes to make sure the files set up how I want to view it. So I want my design lines on don't need my perimeters, annotations, I can turn off my report regions, turn off my subgrade. Remember the eyeball turns things on and off, but I could always toggle them back on in Google Earth. I do want both my plan sheets, so I'm going to hit that one, and then let's hit export. It's going to think through all those settings, put me back into Google Earth, and hopefully zoom into the right spot on my project. So I can turn off this coordinate map just to get a little clearer view. There we go, it's dropped us here in Arizona. And now the first thing I like to do is click on that project name, click on this box and hit the slider to make sure I'm lined up correctly on this road. Yep, that's looking pretty good. Both my access roads are correct. So that's a quick way to have AgTech get your project into Google Earth for you when you're starting with a CAD file that's already in the right coordinates. Now I'm ready to review all this data in Google Earth or send it out to my mobile apps. Let me know if you have any questions.